Oh, hey, My Chemical Romance broke up. What? what? Not My <laughs> Chemical Romance. Let's they haven't made music in six years. <laughs> oh. So it's kind of like they're uh -oh. just, they're staying broken up almost. Because you, okay, if you're not making music, are you really a band? Are you, are you, just, a, are you just a hodgepodge of friends who used to make music? Well, isn't, isn't that all that bands are? Yeah, that's, that's what they all yeah. say. I mean, I, like, like, as soon as you finish the song. Yeah, you once you've yeah, finished the song so and you're you all at the, the bar, song, yeah. you're no longer really playing music. Yeah, you're not yeah, a band. That's, yeah, that's not a fair. That's you're just fair. dudes okay. chilling. You're just dudes. <laughs> let's, go into, let's go into the news segment here. Chilling. Uh, so here's something interesting. The National Intelligence Director James Clapper had to apologize recently because earlier he told Congress that the NSA wasn't uh, spying on Americans. While Oopsies. Sorry, guys. My bad. I don't want to use the word spying because they keep trying to say they're not spying. So I don't want to accuse them of spying. I just want to say listening. I want, listening. I want to accuse them of spying. I mean, that, they're, they're, I mean they've that's been listening. We don't know that does. for sure. Well, Sam Fisher, you ever play Splinter Cell? So anyway, Clapper uh, basically uh, apologized. He said, quote, my response was clearly erroneous, for which I apologize. What does erroneous mean? Erroneous means wrong. So he wasn't saying that he lied because... Um, he is the National Intelligence Director, which means that whatever they're doing, he's directing it. Uh, so, so I believe that's what a, that... They asked him a question, and I answered the question wrong. You don't just misspeak. I'm pretty sure at that point they call it lying. Or if you're in court and a judge is asking you... It's called pedgery, I believe. Pedgery, yeah. That's pedgery, no, pedgery. Pedgery, pedgery, pedgery sounds right. Yeah. Pedgery, pedgery. The R is silent. That's what it is. But if a judge asks you, asks you, you don't, you don't, you don't get away with, oh well, no, I was just wrong. You know, it's a fucking lie. If you're wrong and someone's asking you a direct question about something you're supposed to know about, and you say the wrong thing, that means you're lying. And you're just lying. It means you're just lying. Thank you. I exactly. think it's, I think it's interesting to note that uh, President Obama, uh, apparently, this is a quote from him. This is also, by the way, this is CBS that I'm looking at. It's CBS News. I don't know who posted this article, but it was on July 2nd, which is today now. Yeah, and um, President Obama said, uh, quote, certainly, he certainly believes that Director Clapper has been straight and direct in the answers he's given Congress, which I believe is interesting because... Uh, well, he was straight and direct. He just lost. I, gu I, guess, I guess that is a... That is he a, was straight and direct about it his It is an ingenious, ingenious way to word it. Well, no, he was lying, but he was very straight and he direct about it. He was straight and direct about it. He wasn't, you know... The bomb was not saying he was correct or he was wrong. He's just saying, well, no, he said it with confidence. He said That's it with confidence. Happened. Yeah, he was, he was really sure about what he was saying when he said it. Which makes the, the wrongness all the more surprising, really, to me. Me being the president, who had no idea this was going on. Now, I want to I wanna make sure that it's clear that um, it's not like things are being taken out of context as far as what... Uh, uh, James Clapper had said originally when he was asked the question, and the question he was asked was, um, if the S NSA gathered any type of data at all on millions of hundreds of millions of Americans. And at first, Clapper answered definitively, no. But then when he was pressed on the issue, he changed his answer to not wittingly. He said there are cases where they could inadvertently perhaps collect, but not wittingly. So basically, they'd be like, Oh, okay, this is some terrorist files. Oh, what are these American files getting oh, here? Oh, well, I found was, some data. What? Where's this data coming What's from? What's all this data doing here? I what? was just trying to throw away, my, throw away my McDonald's, and I happened to stumble <laughs> upon this data. In the trash, I unwittingly found data. We obviously don't need these programs. The only reason terrorists want to kill us, uh, I mean, not the only reason, of course. Religion makes people do crazy things. But uh, look up blowback. The whole Ron Paul thing, he was pressing in the elections. And maybe we could reduce uh, our, our fear of terrorism by maybe reducing the amount of terrorists in the world that want to, you know, kill us because we keep killing them. Yeah, that would, that would probably help stop it if we stop bombing.